Hello there. Welcome to Branching Out, the show that takes you on a journey to discover the incredible diversity of trees and plants around us. From towering maples to delicate wildflowers, we'll explore the beauty and importance of these living organisms and show you how to identify, care for, and appreciate them. In this episode, we'll be talking about the Asuraceae family, which are maple trees. Maple trees are known for their stunning fall foliage, but did you know that there are over 100 different species of maple trees? Today, we're going to focus on four types of maples and show you how to identify them. Cut to a close-up of the fourth maple leaf. Cut back to the wooden table with all four leaves. This is the silver maple. You can identify it by its deeply cut, silvery green leaves. They have five lobes and jagged edges. Silver maples, Acer saccharinum, are a type of maple tree that are commonly found in the eastern and central regions of North America. Here are some key characteristics to help identify a silver maple. Silver maples have distinctively shaped leaves with deep, narrow lobes that are separated by deep, V-shaped notches. The leaves are typically around 3 to 6 inches wide and long, with a silver-green color on the underside. The bark of a silver maple is gray and smooth when the tree is young, but becomes more furrowed and ridged as the tree matures. Silver maples are fast-growing trees that can reach heights of up to 100 feet. They have a rounded, spreading growth habit with a broad crown. In the spring, silver maples produce small, red, or yellow flowers that grow in clusters. These flowers give way to winged seeds, or samaras, which have a distinctive V-shape. Silver maples are often found growing in wet or poorly drained soils, such as along river banks or in floodplains. Overall, the combination of distinctive leaf shape, grayish bark, spreading growth habit, and wetland habitat can help identify a silver maple. Next up is the sugar maple. It's the most common type of maple in North America and has a classic maple leaf shape with five lobes. The edges of the leaves are smooth and the color ranges from bright green to deep red in the fall. Sugar maples, Acer saccharum, are a type of maple tree that are native to North America and are prized for their high-quality hardwood as well as for the sap that is harvested to make maple syrup. Here are some key characteristics to help identify a sugar maple. Sugar maples have leaves that are typically 3 to 5 inches wide and long, with five lobes that are separated by deep, U-shaped notches. The leaves are a glossy green color on the top and a paler green on the underside. The bark of a sugar maple is grayish-brown and has deep furrows and ridges that create a rough, scaly texture. Sugar maples are slow-growing trees that can reach heights of up to 100 feet. They have a rounded growth habit with a dense, symmetrical crown. In the spring, sugar maples produce small, yellow or green flowers that grow in clusters. These flowers give way to winged seeds, or samaras, that are 1 to 2 inches long and have a V-shape. One of the most distinctive features of sugar maples is their stunning fall color. In the autumn, the leaves of sugar maples turn brilliant shades of orange, red, and yellow. Overall, the combination of distinctive leaf shape, rough bark, dense symmetrical growth habit, and stunning fall color can help identify a sugar maple. Here we have the red maple. Its leaves are similar to the sugar maple, but the red maple has a distinct red tint to the stem and veins of the leaf. In the fall, the leaves turn a brilliant scarlet color. Red maples, Acer rubrum, are a type of maple tree that are native to North America and are known for their vibrant fall foliage. Here are some key characteristics to help identify a red maple. Red maples have leaves that are typically 2 to 6 inches wide and long, with 3 to 5 lobes that are separated by shallow, U-shaped notches. The leaves are a bright green color on the top and a paler green on the underside. In the fall, the leaves turn bright shades of red, orange, or yellow. The bark of a red maple is grayish-brown and has shallow ridges and furrows that create a scaly texture. Red maples are medium-sized trees that can reach heights of up to 70 feet. They have a rounded, spreading growth habit with a dense crown. In the spring, red maples produce small, red or yellow flowers that grow in clusters. These flowers give way to winged seeds, or samaras, that are about one inch long and have a V-shape. Red maples are often found growing in wet or poorly drained soils, such as along riverbanks or in floodplains. 
Overall, the combination of distinctive leaf shape, scaly bark, spreading growth habit, and vibrant fall color can help identify a red maple. Lastly, we have the Japanese maple. Its leaves are delicate and lacy with multiple lobes. The Japanese maple can have a range of colors from green to red, and some even have variegated leaves. Japanese maples, Acer pomatum, are a type of maple tree that are native to Japan and Korea. They are highly prized for their delicate, lacy foliage and graceful growth habit. Here are some key characteristics to help identify a Japanese maple. Japanese maples have leaves that are typically 2 to 5 inches wide and long, with deeply divided lobes that create a lacy, delicate appearance. The leaves come in a wide range of colors, including green, red, purple, and variegated combinations. The bark of a Japanese maple is smooth and gray when the tree is young, but becomes more textured and fissured as the tree matures. Japanese maples are small to medium-sized trees that typically grow to heights of 10 to 25 feet. They have a graceful, spreading growth habit with a rounded crown. In the spring, Japanese maples produce small, inconspicuous flowers that are typically red or purple in color. These flowers give way to winged seeds, or samaras, that are about one inch long and have a V shape. Japanese maples prefer to grow in well-drained soils that are rich in organic matter. They are often used as ornamental trees in gardens and landscapes. Overall, the combination of delicate, lacy foliage, smooth bark, graceful growth habit, and ornamental value can help identify a Japanese maple. There you have it, four types of maple trees and how to identify them. Next time you're out for a walk in the woods, see if you can spot these maples and impress your friends with your newfound knowledge. In conclusion, identifying maple trees can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience for nature enthusiasts and arborists alike. By paying attention to key characteristics such as leaf shape, bark texture, growth habit, and fruiting structures, you can learn to differentiate between different species of maples, including silver maples, sugar maples, red maples, and Japanese maples. Whether you're admiring the vibrant fall colors of a sugar maple or marveling at the delicate foliage of a Japanese maple, these trees are truly a wonder to behold. So get out there and start exploring the world of maples.